Welcome back. Happy to have Natalie and Isabel here with the Southern Minnesota Skating Club. You guys are preparing for your first ever spring show. And let's kind of go back. You were here back in December, and um, that was kind of when the organization just launched. Um, but how much it's grown is really amazing. So let's talk about that first. Yes, actually, you just said that, and I got, I got goosebumps. Yeah. It's so, it is so oh. exciting to me how this program has just evolved into what we had hoped it would be. And since we started on October 15th with about seven skaters, we've now grown to a roster of 74 skaters. Oh wow. my And gosh. they are of all ages and they're wow. excited to be there and we have fun and the coaches have fun and it's like a whirlwind every day that we get together, but the energy is incredible. Yes. The families are incredible. Yes. The, the skaters are incredible. It just gives me goosebumps. Really just shows that there was a need for this. Yeah, we were really excited. Um, we had a vision. We wanted to provide opportunities and a space where skaters could feel safe to explore the ice in the way that they had wanted to. We wanted to share new opportunities with skaters, and um, they were definitely responsive. Mm. And so now you're going to be going into the next step, which is really kind of showcasing all that you guys have been doing. Yes. Yes, it's really fun. Cool. We are going to put together, well, we did, we've put together an ice show that we're presenting to the public this Sunday. Mm -hmm. We have, um, I think, 22 numbers total, maybe 24, and um, we have over 20 skaters from our club who are skating, and um, our numbers have been choreographed by um, several of our coaches, Belle being one of them. We're doing some really unique things on the ice. Mm. And then we also are excited to be inviting American Ice Theater to perform at our show as well. Mm. And they have, um, one of their assistant directors will be skating mm. um, a solo, and then their junior production team is skating as well. That's cool. And, and Belle, I want to talk to you about the, how, what is it like to choreograph something like this? Have you ever done anything like this? Similar, but this is definitely something quite different because mm -hmm. this is such an inclusive club. Um, with somebody who has grown up in a certain environment coming to somewhere with all different backgrounds from recreational to competitive to hockey skaters. Yeah. It's definitely a lot different, but it hasn't been anything less than positive. Mm. And I almost feel like it's, it was a complete blank slate, really. Like you guys are setting, setting the bar for this. So how is it um, choreographing for the first ever and the first of hopefully many, lots of many's, um, show us. How does that feel? It's definitely an honor and it's super exciting, especially taking that first step, knowing mm -hmm. that it can only grow from here. Yes, yeah. there you are. And let's talk about details about how can people get tickets. What yeah, so um, we sell tickets at the door and they, we have different ticket prices for different ages. So three and under are free. Um, four to 17, I think it's $10. And then 18 through 65, 64 is 12. 65 and up is 10. So if you're over the age of 65 and a youth, it's $10. Okay. If you're an adult, it's 12. <laughs> but right. if you bring a donation to um, the Maverick Food Shelf, then you can get a dollar off per ticket. Oh, awesome. Mm. Okay. Yep. So we, I mean, we really are embracing this sense of community and we want to be able to not just provide skating opportunities, but other opportunities to help support the community. So we really encourage people yeah. to donate to that cause. And really kind of honing into that inclusivity. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. And you've grown so much uh, just within a few months. So what is what, what kind of is your plan for the future? What are your hopes? We have a lot of fun things that are um, in the works right now. And we're really excited to be able to continue to offer programming through the spring and the summer. Um, details will be posted on our, um, our website and social media very soon. Right now, the focus has been on getting the ice show yeah. out there and going. But um, we've shared, even in our program for the show this weekend, please stay in touch with us because we're excited to share with you what's next. Very exciting. Thanks so much, you guys. And we'll have more when we come back on Cato Living.